Hi everyone, this is the another basic problem on probability. See the statement of the given problem. A letter of the English alphabet is chosen at random. Already you know that there are 26 letters in the English alphabet. So, from that 26 alphabets, he selected one letter. Okay. Calculate the probability that the letter will be a vowel. If you, if you are selecting a letter from the English alphabets, that letter should be a vowel. Okay. First of all, you have to probability to that, that event. Okay. What is the probability that the letter would be a, would be proceeds M and is a vowel. What is the mean by proceeds before the M, previous letters of M and it that should be a vowel. Okay. Next, what is it? Randomly selected letter should be follows M. It means that that letter should be after will come M and should be a vowel. Okay. So, see here. First of all, as usually, we have to write the total number of possible outcomes in this random experiment. When, when a letter is selected, selected from English alphabet so what is the total number of outcomes total number of outcomes this is also known as exhaustive number of events don't forget it total number of outcomes is n otherwise n of s n of s okay you may have the chance any letter from a to z okay that's why you will get 26 c1 all letters have the chance to get that word that letter okay so 26 c1 is nothing but 26 there are 26 possible outcomes when we are selecting a letter from the 26 alphabets okay it is not necessary to write the sample space if you are interested you can write the sample space as you may get a b c up to last letter is z this is the sample space so first one let e1 put the first event name for the first event as e1 is equal to event of event of selecting a vowel so already you know that what are the vowel letters in the english letter in english alphabets so a e i o u okay these all five letters are favorable to get a vowel so n of e1 n of e1 is nothing but number of favorable cases it would be five you can also represent it with m as you wish so from the definition of basic probability otherwise classic definition of probability you will get probability of e1 is equal to number of e1 by number of s otherwise simply you can write as m by n as you wish so it would be 5 by 26 okay similarly see the second one directly i will write here so you can take this event as e2 then what is the probability of e2 what is the uh, e2 to get a letter which which proceeds m and it is a vowel so you know it only three letters are there okay three letters are there to get a, a letter which proceeds m and it is a vowel that's why it is 3 by 26 and what about the next one probability of e3 okay what is the probability of to get a letter which follows m and it is a vowel so only there are two letters after m which are vowels so that's why you will get 2 by 26 otherwise you can write it as 1 by 13 as you wish in this way we can solve the problem okay in the next video i will give another basic problem on probability thank you very much